Hello and welcome to the Skyrock channel and today this is my $50,000 workstation editing PC. So I thought I'd go ahead and make a very expensive but uberly fast workstation build that basically reigns supreme against all the other workstation pieces that are out right there you can buy or build. This workstation PC is so fast, it is so number crunching and just renders things so quickly. This workstation is basically the ultimate workstation that you can get for $50,000. So for the processor, I've chosen the Intel Xeon E5 2697 V2 12-core processor. Now we're grabbing two of, these, two of these 12 core processors in order to total up at a total <laughs> core of this PC of having 24 cores, which is quite insane, but it'll give you really insane editing speeds. To go over some more of these specs, this is at a clock speed of 2.7 gigahertz and can over and can manually turbo boost up to 3.5 gigahertz. This has a cache of 30 megabytes, which is quite a whole lot. Not to mention this is nice because it is the new updated Intel Ivy Bridge E architecture, which is quite nice and is quite a step up from the past Cine Bridge E. This also has 24 threads with those 12 cores, which is a whole lot. So you have a crap load of threads to work with when you're editing stuff. And just overall, if you want to have the fastest workstation build, you have to get this processor. And especially just putting two of these together will make this workstation build just supremely good in editing. Now for the motherboard, I've gone I've gone ahead and chosen a server motherboard, so I've chosen the Gigabyte 7PESH3 SSI EEB server motherboard. So I thought I'd go ahead and grab a really big motherboard that will still fit inside of the case that I chose, but also it's just just more higher end than the regular ASUS motherboard that pretty much a lot of people use in their editing workstation builds. But this is more of a server grade motherboard, so this can handle a lot more than a regular motherboard. So this is a dual LGA 2011 socket motherboard. So this can this will hold two of our Intel Core i5 two no no Core i5 E3 E5 two six nine seven V2s. This can support up to 100 no 256 gigabytes of RAM, which is a whole lot. This also can still support four-way SLI and Crossfire, which is quite nice for this sort of server-grade motherboard. And also, this has a ton of I.O. ports, so you will never run out of I.O. ports ever on this motherboard. And to go over more of this, this actually has a lot of connections for the, like, you know, for SATA connections. So this has two SATA 3 6 gigabyte speed ports. This also has four SATA 2 3 gigabyte ports, which we can utilize. And lastly, this has eight SAS 6 gigabyte ports, which will all be very useful, and a lot of these can go in a RAID configuration. So this is one very beastly motherboard for $640 and will be perfect for our very high-end workstation build. Now for the RAM, I've chosen the 128GB OWC Memory Upgrade Kit. So this RAM was mainly made for 8-core Xeon Mac Pro systems, but I'm very confident that this will in fact work also with our supremely high-end workstation build. So this has 128GB of DDR3 memory which is a whole freaking lot even more than 64 gigabytes which is already pretty insane this is at a speed of 1333 megahertz which is not too bad with the castling of 9 so this isn't too slow of ram and actually it's kind of okay this also has a very high module bandwidth which is essential for any server grade ram since this has a server bandwidth of 10.6 gigabytes and also just before i go over anything else this is a dual rank ecc memory module and ECC memory is essential in any sort of server grade motherboard or server PC so that not a lot of calculations will be missed and there will only be like one critical mission error every month. Anyways though, this is a very very good set of RAM if we want to get the best editing performance out of our epic workstation build. Now for our graphics cards, I have a setup. So first I have the NVIDIA Telsa K40. So we're going to grab one of these. And this is just basically going to be the acceleration GPU that we're going to use to speed up all of our editing. So this has 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM, which is a whole lot. This has a very large memory bandwidth of 384 bits. And also this is using the GK110B architecture, which is absolutely fast, especially for this really high-end computing GPU. So this will basically speed up all of your editing processes by a whole lot. Now for the other graphics cards I've chosen, we're going to grab three NVIDIA Quadro K6000s and we're going to put them in Tri-SLI. So these are going to be the main editing 
um, form for like editing videos or 3D modeling or anything like that. This will basically render all those like you know 3D models, videos, images, or anything else all at a very fast speed. This has 2,888 CUDA, 80 CUDA cores, which is quite insane. This has 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM, which is a whole freaking lot. This also is a PCI Express 3.0 X16 card, which will work great with our motherboard. And just for a very expensive price of $50,000 and putting three of these in trial supply, you will get extremely fast editing speeds whenever you're rendering any project. Now for our storage solution, with our two SATA 6 gigabyte ports on our motherboard, we're gonna grab two Samsung 840 Pro Series 512 gigabyte SSDs. So these are basically the main SSDs that I chose for like all of the programs that we're gonna load up and our OS because this SSD has the fastest read speeds and the fastest Windows 7, or in this case, the Windows 2008 server OS boot up times. So we're gonna have two of these, put them in RAID 0 and have a total of one terabyte of installation storage to store all of your programs or even games if you want to do that and all of your workstation programs or anything like that. And this is also just gonna make your workstation just boot up really quickly. Now for the other storage, I have the Samsung 840 EVO series 1 terabyte hard drive. So we're going to have four of these and put them in those four SATA 2 3 gigabyte SATA ports. And we're going to all run these at about rate 10. So this is mostly going to be for storing your videos or images or 3D rendering models or anything like that. It's not going to be that crucial, but you know, it's just there and it's actually really fast if you're going to render anything to this. So if you need to make something on the fly or something that doesn't take that whole much of space, but you know, still want a ton of memory, this will provide those needs as it is very fast and will still have four terabytes of storage in the RAID 10 configuration. Now lastly in our storage solution, I have the HGST Ultrastar 7K4000 4 terabyte 7200 RPM SAS 6 gigabyte hard drive. So we're gonna go ahead and grab eight of these and put all of them in RAID 0. So you're gonna have a total of a hefty 36 terabytes of storage, which is absolutely insane. Oh, sorry, um, 32 terabytes of storage. Anyways though, this is at a speed of 1700 RPM with a cache of 64 megabytes. And then think about SAS that differs it from SATA, it's just that SAS hard drives just work better in a rate configuration, so, they, so they'll work more efficiently than regular SATA hard drives, which is gonna be perfect. And if you wanna have like, you know, the ultimate workstation build. Now, even though these are very expensive, this has a five year limited warranty and this has 2.0 million hours of working time, which is absolutely awesome. And this is just an enterprise class, amazing hard drive. And we're gonna have eight of these and put them in a RAID zero configuration. So we just have the ultimate hard drive storage in this workstation build. Now for the power supply, I've chosen the Corsair AX 1500i, 1500 watt, 80 plus titanium power supply. So this is the only 80 plus titanium power supply out on the market. And also this is a very, very amazing power supply for this sort of editing rig. Because not only does it have the 80 plus titanium certification, which basically means that this is going to serve the most amount of power, which is going to be great for this powerhouse of a workstation. But also this is by Corsair and this is their AXI series and they are absolutely assured in order to have, you know, a very long lasting lifetime or anything like that. So this has 1500 watts of wattage, which is a, which is actually enough for this uh, workstation PC. This has a 80 plus titanium rating, which is the highest out of any 80 plus rating that is on the market today. So this will save you a ton of energy for this workstation PC. This is fully modular, so you can save a bit of cable clutter or anything like that. And also this is just a very, very solid power supply in order to keep all of your running components in this workstation PC all running perfectly fine. Now for the case, we needed one pretty big ass case. So I went ahead and chose the Cooler Master Cosmos 2 ATX Ultra Tower case. So this is one of the big, like this is one of the more bigger, badder cases that you can get. And is and also this case is just purely made for this sort of rig because it has a crap load of hard drives, which is the correct amount of hard drives that we need. Anyways though, to go over some of the specs, this is a ATX Ultra Tower and will support our motherboard form factor of SSI EEB. This also is also at a very, very expensive price point of $320, but it's gonna be so worth it. The cooling system actually isn't too bad. 
because you can fit a lot of fans in here to cool off all those hard drives and graphics cards. And this also has plenty of hard drive cages to store all of our SSDs and hard drives. And also this just looks pretty nice for a you know, workstation PC. So this will make your workstation PC look pretty nice and pretty professional. And so this is just will be a very good, very high end case for this <laughs> workstation build and will hold everything in place and will be a very solid and just very good PC case overall. Now lastly, in order to have the ultimate workstation build, you gotta have a crap load of monitors in order to edit everything and be able to have the ultimate multitasking in the world. So I've chosen six Asus PQ321Q black 3.15 inch 4K monitors. So yes, this PC will support six 4K monitors. It is possible. If you want to be able to edit everything at the fastest, you know, efficiency and be able to have you know, everything on your screen and see everything, this is absolutely necessary. So we're going to go ahead and grab six of these and have them in a ridiculously high resolution multiplying, just imagine multiplying 4K by about, by about two or something like that. And that is basically this monitor configuration. It is absolutely insane, but the monitor itself is actually quite nice. It has, it's at a size of 31.5 inches, which is plenty big. This has a 8 millisecond response time, which is, you know, not bad for a workstation, you know, PC. And this is a widescreen LED backlit LCD monitor, so that is all good. And, you know, this is a 4K monitor, and it is absolutely primed to basically give you the best video quality, especially in your editing, whenever you're editing on your 3D modeling software or anything like that. This will make sure you can pick up each part of, like, you know, your editing, and, you know, you can see everything in the fine detail so you can have the best efficiency when working with your programs. And anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed my $50,000 workstation build, and this is the Scrabble Channel signing out.